a 5.1 harness. Today, we're gonna install a 5.1 harness from PRP, and uh, I guess it's really my first time doing it, so let's walk you through how I'm gonna do it in the Lethal Camaro. Today's video is brought to you by the 2019 CamaroCon event t-shirt. Check out the link below and see if we have your size in stock today. What's going on guys, Matt over here with Lethal Garage and today I'm gonna to be installing the PRP beautiful SFI approved 5.3 harness. Now, if you guys didn't know, we're in the midst of going full race car. Just got the full roll cage installed. We have our Kirky seat, but we need SFI approved seat belts. Now this is the first time I've ever ran any sort of harness. So uh, I reached out to the fine folks at PRP, found out what they had, I said, look, I need a seat belt that is SFI approved, that meets the NHRA standards, They're like we got what you need, it's a three inch setup, five point harness, they offer all sorts of different colors, but I opted for black. So in the box, you get the PRP seat belt, and uh, typically they come with the eyelet bolt connectors. They do have different options that you can do. I opted for this, the quick uh, clip-ins, clip, clap-ons, clip, I can't talk. Uh, these are the clip-ons, and so in that, where is the actual parts? Uh, right here. So I also had to get some eyelet bolts. Uh, so with that all being stated, we had created a custom bracket for my Kirky seat now this is the big boy 55 series uh and it's a 20 inch seat because i am big i got a 44 waist i could probably fit in the 18.5 but i wanted uh i wanted a little bit of movement just a little bit so we have our custom mounted bracket to the cage and you can already see i marked based on where the seat sits where i want the eyelet bolt so we'll have an eyelet bolt here one mirrored on the other side, it'll go right through and bolt on from the bottom. And then we'll either have an eyelet bolt on the front bar going this way, so it can clip in, or this way. I haven't quite figured it out. Obviously we won't use this giant washer for the front one, because yeah, that's not gonna work. Um, but yeah, we're gonna get it in. So let's go ahead and go for the install process here. Get the seat in and see how it all looks. So for this install, I'm gonna have to use a drill with some bits. I'm gonna use a smaller bit to get a pilot hole, the bigger bit for the final hole size. And in that, I'm gonna set this bolt right on here, reach underneath and be able to thread uh, into the bar. Now, as you can see, this is mounted to or welded to the uh, actual roll cage bar. So I marked exactly where I want it based upon where the seat sits. So that way I feel comfortable and be able to wrap that strap around into the seat and bolt it to the ground. So since I have that already marked, I'm gonna go ahead and put my pilot bit in and uh, we can drill the hole. Now, I do have a wiring harness here. There is nothing going underneath the bar. So be cognizant of that. Um, that being stated, you can see where this harness goes across up into the door, comes down, around, and runs just alongside. So in this instance, I'm gonna be full clear. There's nothing underneath. So we'll uh, get our pilot hole drilled. This is gonna be the hardest part, just getting this started without it sliding. So, got our pilot. Now we can open it up to the big boy. Just that reading. Oh, that smells nice. is all the way through and go get a vacuum and we'll uh, clean up all the shavings. We got that pretty much cleaned up. We have the eyelet here plus the washer sitting right on top. So I'll sit just like that. We have our lock washer and our bolt and this is a 11 16 setup. So those parts just going to be 
getting the bolt started. So I pre-measured the bolt before I started this, knowing that it's gonna clear, because the frame does sit just off the bottom. <laughs> the hard part is, is getting this lined up on the bolt. Lined up. There we go. Sorry, got to move the camera. Now that we have this side in place, it's rinse and repeat on the other side. Now that we have the two rear bolts in, we got to figure out how to drill the hole for the front bolts. Now, this is going to be a little tough considering this is dough call. So in hindsight, if I was to do this over, I would have put something underneath. Um, the metal shavings are proving pretty difficult to get out of the carpet. I got all the big chunks, but still, it's not perfect. But, I'm gonna get the eyelid in there. So now, we can tighten this down. That eyelid's in place. Now that we have the clip-in bolts, the eyelets in, we need to get the seat in, bolt it down, and then hook up, or at least put the black cover on the seat, and then run the belts. So let's see if we can do that real quick. Now this is probably gonna be the hardest part getting the cover to slide over. And of course I approached this the wrong way. I have to attach the top first. It's in there. So at this point, I have the PRP seat belt. I've just pushed through these upper straps through the holes, but it's really about the lap belts. So you'll see the lap belts, I got the quick clips, so I just have to run them through the side of the seat. Now the driver's side is gonna be pretty easy to clip in and get on, considering I can reach it. The passenger seat's gonna take a little bit of finagling because I have a big boy seat and it's all the way against the edge, but I did put the eyelet far enough back to where I can reach behind the seat and hopefully get it clipped in. Yep, yeah, see, now that's clipped in. So now the sides are clipped in. I'm gonna go ahead and undo this. So there's this side, the outside edge. I'll run through here, and now it's really a debate on a uh, <laughs> where your crotch belt wants to go. And let me change the camera angle so you can see this. Now the crotch belt angle is gonna be the tough one because I'm a big dude. Pretty sure I'm gonna be sitting up right here. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run this belt over the front instead of through. Now I can run it through if I wanted to, but luckily this strap's pretty long and that eyelet that I just installed, this clicks right on, maybe. In theory, there you go. So that's clicked on. And now I have this. So now basically I just gotta get in the seat and make the adjustments I want to make sure that 
the length of this belt is perfect to where I want it and it all connects up so and if you're not familiar with how this style belt works this belt flows through here and then you have this belt actually I think it's outside center outside and then it goes through and latches so that's how that latches up on there so you have the drivers well your left side your right side and then center and then sitting right in there so let's see if I can actually hop in the car now and see how the straps line up well I'm in the car and it's really it's time to get the straps fitted for me so uh, I've recruited my beautiful wife who's fixing her hair right now um, hi honey if you guys don't know my wife this is Carrie my beautiful bride of what over 15 years now <laughs> yeah so she puts up with all my shenanigans and what better way to show a safety video than my wife keeping me safe right babe mm -hmm. right so um, I've gotten all the over-the-shoulder harnesses in and the lap belt harness where I feel that I need them the one belt that I totally need to adjust is the crotch belt, which I could do on my own, um, which is fine. But the hard part is, is I'm a giant and I can't fit in the back to get the, the straps on the back. So my wife is helping me with these. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to record her doing the process so you guys could see how it attaches to the harness bar. And it also gives you a good view of where I forgot to take the tape off of the bar because the seat hits the bar. Do you want to take that yeah. off? Uh, we could do it later. Actually, are you able to peel it off now? Oh, my wife gets that off. You guys can say hi to Ryan. Hi, Ryan. <laughs> and he's hiding. Lila. I heard Lila out there. Hey, Lila. There's my dog, Lila. If you guys don't know Lila, she is the most awesome dog ever. And Ryan's doing really good, as you guys could tell. He's hiding from you. <laughs> and Carrie's. I'll do the tape later. Okay, so as far as the strap goes, so it goes around the bar so i fed the the strap through the seat and tightened it up so i had extra slack on my chest um, and then what my wife is going to do is she's going to get it as tight as she can so basically she wraps it around the bar initially and then once she comes around the bar what oh you gotta get higher so around the bar and then it's going to go underneath the lip of the strap so you can see there she's threading it on the underside up and over so there's one I side oh yeah, and then and then get it through the top side to the underside so you feed it through top side to the underside the top side of the metal bracket i guess under the top uh, thing yeah yeah and then pull that tight now, once you pull this tight, it's going to be pretty hard to get any tighter tension out of it. So, um, actually, if you want to make that a little bit tighter. Okay, but then I have to heat it. Uh, just see if you can get, like, just a little bit more through. Actually, you know what? It should be fine, because I can pull this tight. Yeah, because it makes it even harder to come back around. And so then, yeah, so now the final step is going back around the entire buckle through the top side and then pull the excess through so this is this, this is the harder part because it's a really tight squeeze if you pull up on the buckle it gives you a little bit of space but it's just a wrestling match on that big three inch strap oh this is a workout for my arm holding the camera <laughs> feel it in the back of my shoulder can i close your rings yeah <laughs> Closed my rings today, putting my seatbelt on. Funny Apple joke for all you Apple <laughs> watch fans. Well, as a mom, the joke is like, well, I didn't have to go to the gym today because I moved the car seat to the other car. It only took me 25 minutes. <laughs> okay. So there you go. She has it over, and then you can adjust more loose than the other side but. yeah you'll probably have to adjust it but you guys get the idea there um, she's gonna have to adjust that to be a little bit tighter over there <laughs> on the bar but you know hit and miss thanks babe You're welcome. 
Okay, now I'm fully strapped in. I did adjust the crotch strap so it's nice and tight. Uh, my wife did an amazing job, so now when I get in, all I have to do is just pull on these straps and <laughs> I'm stuck, which is exactly what you want. So my uh, lap straps are a little, little looser right now. They're not all the way tight, but I still have to put jeans on and a fire jacket once this is done. So these are the PRP straps. They are SFI approved for NHRA. So, and they're under 200 bucks. So depending, I think they start at 159.99 and they go up from there, but it really depends on what kind of connection you do. So if you do a bolt to the floor, which you could do, um, that's cheaper. They come with those. Basically, if you get the snap-in ones with the eyelets that you saw me install, um, those are a little more expensive because you have to buy the eyelets and you have to buy the end. So it comes with two, but I needed one, two, three, so I had to buy one extra one, um, but as you saw, the straps just wrap around the harness bar across the back, and we're good to go. So as far as getting out, literally you can just lift up on these two straps here, undo your buckle, pull the red strap, that just gets you all out, and I'm basically detached. So basically to get out, you pull that red strap and you should be able to fall right out of the car in an emergency situation. Um, I really like it, feels really good. I mean, I'm a bigger guy, but a three inch strap holding you in place feels really nice. But there you have it, PRP seat belts in position, good to go for my size. My wife uh, tried to sit in the car on her own and it was pretty and I fit perfect. It was pretty funny seeing you in there. There was like you could fit three of you in that seat with it set up for me. Whatever. My wife, my wife's fun size. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you can see the belts are clearly on the harness bar. We're good to go. Let's see if we can get a better angle. I don't have my windshield in yet, but there you go, PRP. Big huge out to PRP. They did give me a 25% off uh, deal on these belts. I went locally and picked them up and they were giving me a deal. They were having uh, sales going on that week. So pretty straightforward. This isn't a sponsored video or anything like that, but you can pick these up anywhere from $159.99 all the way up to $189.99. I do have a link down in the description below if you guys are interested in checking them out. But outside of that, pretty straightforward, easy install. Uh, the cage and installing the seat were obviously a lot harder than actually hooking up the seat belt. It was nice having my wife be able to help me dial in the belts to make sure they were perfect for my size. It would be really hard for me to crawl in the back with a roll cage and on top of that, trying to make the adjustments and going in and out, in and out. That, I mean, it's doable, but um, yeah, it's nice having a little bit of help. So as always guys, thanks for checking out this video. Uh, likes, comments, shares are appreciated. More content coming, hit that subscribe button. Be first to know by hitting that little ring bell on the homepage. So go to Lethal Garage on YouTube, hit that bell, and you guys will be the first to know when new content goes live. But until next time guys, I'll see you on the road. And my kids, my kids are going crazy.